Okay, FAQ number 39. Did Jesus ever condemn homosexuals? Uh, okay, um, well, homosexual is not a Bible term. Okay, that's a modern politically correct term. The, the Bible term is sodomite. But the idea of a man and a man together or a woman and a woman together. Okay, and you know, there's this weird little philosophy that if Jesus Christ doesn't openly spell it out word for word, then he must have been okay with it. Let's look about this. Turn in your Bible to Matthew chapter 19, verse 19. Okay, it says here, verse 1, it says, And it came to pass that when Jesus had finished these sayings, he departed from Galilee and came into the coast of Judea beyond Jordan. And great multitudes followed him, and he healed them there. The Pharisees also came unto him, tempting him, and saying unto him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause? And he answered and said unto them, Have ye not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and male, and for this cause... Oh, I'm sorry. I read that wrong. Silly me. Uh, it says, uh, He that made them at the beginning made them female and female, oh, and they should obtain state marriage licenses and fight for the right to have uh, gay marriage. Uh, no, it doesn't say that. It says, uh, he, that, he which made them at the beginning made them male and female. Verse 5, And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. Wherefore they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. You know, and it goes on to the thing there of, you're not to divorce unless it's for the cause of fornication. But um, you see, Jesus never said that, uh, you know, well, you know, there's the case of a man and a wife. You know, he made them male and female at the beginning, and they come together for marriage. And, you know, it's, and, and I'm not trying to exclude men and men and women and women. I mean, it's just, it's such, such an obvious uh, thing that, you know, why on earth would the Lord ever create men and men to be together or women and women? You know, I mean, if he would have created another man, you know, in the Garden of Eden, um, hello, none of us would be here, you know. If, if God would have created a, a woman first and then another woman, uh, okay, how does anybody get born after that? You know, see, it's, it's insanity. Sodomy is genocide. It is, it is eugenics. It's sterilization of the pop, uh, populace. And you know, that's the whole thing. It is a, that's the reason that, that sodomy is being promoted and pushed so hard right now because they want to sterilize people, to be quite frank with you. And of course, it's you know there's a lot of satanic reasons as well, but the the whole philosophy here is like I mentioned earlier. Did Jesus specifically say that this exact sin was wrong by word? You know, well, Jesus never said sodomy. He never said certainly never said homosexual. And the people say, well, then it must be okay. Um, well, uh, Jesus Christ is God, okay, and. God is the one who inspired all the things that are written in Scripture. So if, even if Jesus didn't say a certain thing is condemned here in what he's you know, recorded as saying, if it's condemned in other parts of Scripture, Jesus Christ is for it. He's the one that inspired those statements. See, people have such warped ideas. You know, they, they try to come out with this stuff. You know, uh, John, the book of John doesn't mention the word repent or repentance. So that means that you don't have to repent. It's like, what? It's all throughout the rest of the Bible. What do you, you know, what do you mean? It's craziness. But, you know, go back to, we'll actually go there. Genesis chapter 19. Well, actually, it's before that. Let's think of where that thing's at. Genesis uh, chapter 13, verse 13. Interesting numbers. Genesis 13, 13, But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. Okay. Now let's uh, go to Genesis chapter 18, verse 20. And the Lord said, Because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very grievous. Very grievous sin. You know? And you study, what is it? It's, it's men and men. It's sodomy. Go to the New Testament, Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1. 
Romans chapter 1, verse uh, 26. We'll start there. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Would sodomy be against nature? Man and man, woman and woman. Uh, in just a generation, you'd have the whole, you know, whatever species went sodomite, they'd be wiped out. They're sterilizing themselves. It's against nature. Verse 27, and, and likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burn in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. And it goes down through there. So, to say, Jesus didn't openly say the word homosexual is bad or whatever, whatever, you know, and that proves that it's okay. Uh, that doesn't work. Okay, it's condemned in other pages of Scripture. Jesus Christ doesn't have to reiterate everything that's in the Bible. That's nonsense. So, does Jesus Christ openly condemn sodomy? Yes, because he, he comes right out and says about a man and a wife, and God made him at the beginning male and female. He doesn't say male and male or female and female. You know, sodomy is against nature. It's against common sense. Okay? And if you are a sodomite, you will receive the recompense of your error, and it will be meat. It will be manifest to everybody. Why? Because you'll be dead in one generation. You have no children. Okay? On to the next FAQ.